Greetings and welcome to my channel. Social Security is a regressive tax with a progressive benefit. Let's take a look at why. This is my series on Social Security benefits. Each week I will present information mostly in the form of charts and calculations based on the Social Security Administration's benefits calculator. Remember, this information is for entertainment and education purposes only. This time I'm going to use the calculator to show the progressive nature of the Social Security benefit. All right, I've opened NAPIA. We're going to go through the forms real quick. We don't need much information since we are just looking at the PIA calculation. Put birth year 1973. We're looking at old age benefits, no family members, doesn't matter anyway. Supplemental worker information, you'll notice I've selected 2021 as the specified year of earnings. And I've done backward and forward earnings projections in line with average wage increases. Um, and I've got a period of uh, 45 years of earnings. Under assumptions, we want to look at this in today's dollars. So I've got no increase and no increase for uh, benefits or wage. And then annual earnings, what I want to look at is the maximum because I need to see what all levels of benefits are based off of. The, the PIA formula, I want to see what everything, what the whole thing is based off of. Keep in mind that after the maximum income, in this case for 2021, $142,800, there are no further OASDI or old age and survivor disability insurance payments or social security tax, as you might want to call it, after this level for 2021. And then it adjusts each year to whatever the maximum is determined to be for that year. So you don't pay social security taxes past that amount. When we calculate this uh, using the maximum benefits, we get an average indexed monthly income of $11,635. But the main thing I wanted to look at is the PIA. And the PIA calculation here is 0 0.9 times the first $996 of this average. Then 0.32 or 32% of the next $5,006, and then only 0.15 or 15% of the last $5,633, which gives us a total amount or PIA of $3,343. These uh, $996 and the $5,006 are based on these bend points. PIF formula bend points are 996 and 6002 for 2021. This is adjusted each year, and I'll get into that later. Here's our graph of the PIA formula for 2021. Notice our slope is 0.9 for the first $996, which gives us a benefit of $896. So the first $996 that would be our payment. Notice the slope decreases between $1,000 and $6,000. These are the two bend points that we mentioned before. And then after the second bend point, it becomes 15%, so the slope decreases even further. So for each dollar of income, you only get 15 cents in benefits as far as an increase. The first section, each dollar is 90 cents. Second section, each dollar is 32 cents. Last section, each dollar is only 15 cents. And because of this, the benefit is considered progressive. Here's our chart of the Social Security paid by income. And this is 6.2%. We're, we're not considering self-employed. Self-employed would be 12.4%. We just want to look at... Um, basically the half payment or 6.2% that most uh, wage earners are, most wage earners fall under. So from $0 of earning 
up to $142,800 for 2021. It's taxed at a flat 6.2%. After that, you don't pay anything additional. So if you earn $500,000, you still only pay $8,854 in taxes, which capped out once you hit 142,800. So in this re for this reason, Social Security is a regressive tax because for higher income individuals, at least above 142,800, it's become it becomes less and less of a percentage of their overall income. For anyone between 0 and 142,800, it's basically a flat tax. It's not really regressive at that point. It's just flat because it's 6.2% of everybody's income that falls within this range. This value I marked here is the average income for an individual. And most people are going to fall somewhere in this range. So for most people, this tax is not necessarily regressive. It only becomes regressive when you look over 142,800. So what are our takeaways for this week's episode? First, the first dollars of your average indexed monthly income have the highest impact on your benefit. In fact, up to, up to $996, you get 90% of that as a benefit. The bend points and highest income taxed by Social Security are proportional and change based on the average wage from two years prior to the current year. Finally, Social Security is a regressive tax with a progressive benefit providing the best ROI or return on investment for lower income individuals. Thank you for joining me on this topic. If you have questions, please leave those down below. If you have suggestions on things you would like to see, also put those in the comments below. If you like this content, please consider subscribing and definitely leave a like on the video. And if you're gonna retire, retire to something.